eyebrows. Chester. Look at the white eyebrows. Look at the white eyebrows. Chester. She know her name. Chester! <laughs> We're about to move out and her back. Stop, we do that on scene. <laughs> we about to move out in how many days, baby? Um, let's see. Six, seven, eight, seven, eight, Fifteen days. Fifteen days until we move into our tiny house. Dun, 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 dun. We are almost packing up our our loft life. Our last days of apartment. Hopefully our last day of renting, but I'm pretty sure that we're gonna be renting something for Airbnb purposes. Arbitrage that is, but man, I'm gonna miss this life. Are you gonna miss this? Mostly for my kids. They, they, love, a, they love a large life for a cat. These niggas gonna be upset! I think they have to, um, you gotta keep this and put it in the side and just take this one off. She is thinking about putting this. Not thinking. They're keeping their tree. She's going to put this in the RV in this tight this. spot. We're going to take this off. She thinks she is, I think. I think. We're gonna, this I think. Good. Yeah. We're going to take this one off. And then this fits perfectly. If we cut this joint in half. I'm not cutting nothing, okay? The slide is way wider than this. <laughs> The slide is way wider than this. I'm gonna fast forward to the spot that she needs to put, that she's trying to put this in. They need this. Mm -hmm. and we taking this too. Bo needs this. You done filled up the whole damn camper already. Well, they need a designated space, and this is gonna be it. Bo spends 95% of his time on this seat. I don't know, Bo. We might have to cut this thing out. Are you comfy? I'm gonna get the video It is now February, and we are forced to use this cannon heater. Um, today, this was boarded up when we bought the thing because it had mold back there, and I fixed the mold. Gotta patch that back up, but it doesn't have the cabinets. So I'm gonna use this cabinet and the other cabinets to measure out some cabinets and make it out of these boards that we got from Ikea for $8 each. We got two of them. I'm gonna use one for the desk and one for the cabinets in the back so they all match. And here we go. Uh, this is for all the people that think this stuff is hard. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how to make cabinets. I don't know. I'm just gonna recreate the wheel. Hinges. All the stuff. I don't know what I'm doing, but hey, you guys are watching me through the whole process, and I just know I'm gonna get through it. Fail or not, I'm gonna fail my way to success to beat the hell out of this thing. I finally finished out of the board we got from Ikea, and I painted the black. As for this part that I didn't know what was inside of it, we brought this tape. What kind of tape is this for you? Mm, black tape. <laughs> black mm -hmm. filmy tape. It's really thin. It's not the quality I thought it was gonna be. Um, but it doesn't matter. We're about to put it on the ends of these and put them up on the things. I got these narrow unit hinges from Home Depot so they can all be the same. Um, yeah. Here we go. Keep in mind, I don't know what I'm doing. It just, I guess it's common sense. And we're gonna get it done. So let's get it. Right now, the carpet's not doing anything but creating 
the existing carpet is creating somewhat of a cushion, but we're gonna see. Oh, wait, wait, stop, stop, stop. Come up, come up, come up. Now you good. Go back. Got these from Amazon. How much are these? $24 each. I put the right price on there. Um, we went through yellow, we went through white or silver pipes. So white looks the best. So we got to go white. This is the last big project, which is basically putting on this peel and stick granite countertop. The backsplash came out really nice. That was uh, peel and stick as well. Um, a girl just ran over here and literally laid some five minute concrete around these edges because it was real jagged. Like she really just rushed over and did a little concrete job for me. Literally. Shout outs to her you baby, I love you son. But I'm about to sand those down, paint that black, Put this on and um should be the last big thing big project in here before we uh start decorating since we got this thing in November. It's kind of crazy because we should have been trapped that to see if we can live in the joint, which we have to move in. Our lease is up February 1st. Think about that. We just turned the heat on. It's warm as hell. The cat's gonna be good. This is one of our biggest dreams, y'all, to like really convert one of these into a tiny house and live out of it. This is bucket list. Top, top bucket list. TLC, do it yourself. Late night. Just got out the mouth. Trailer. Yeah. 110. And, um, yeah. It's been a long road. When I finish it all, though, check out the stage. Shorty is rocking it. We got this place, it was huge TV stand right here and a little stand right there, but I completely trashed them. So I just created these two little boxes. Now I'm about to, this is an old table from our apartment, from Ikea, and I'm about to cut this in half and create my office on this back wall. Put this desk all the way across and yeah, see what happens, see how it looks. I wanted this part of the project to be like, it was really personal. Uh, I really wanted this command center to look like, look like 
basically like a man cave within a cave but you know being with my girl so close it's like you know I wanted to at the end you know resemble both of our you know type of personalities and I think it came together well it was a little challenging getting everything to balance off and make sure it doesn't break but um, I was pretty uh, pleased with the end result First time seeing the day bed in this joint is vicious. Good job, baby. We pulled a 12 hour day on the RV today. We shot. We only got six days till we move in. Yeah. Thank you. Right got six days till we move in. And um, this crush time. We are now at Joanne's. We're about to find a cushion and some good colors to, and just a cushion for the day bed. This place is, I come in here while I'm on acid. Oh, pulled it out the cut. I like that. You like that? Crazy. Happy dollars. This is, this is day bed stuff right here, bro. I like this one. I even like this one. This is luxury too. But the blue. This is nice. This yeah. oh my gosh. Oh hell yeah. Okay. Are we that already? Come on. So this is the cheap cheap stuff. The three inch. Are you gonna feel the board right under it? Like this kind of stuff, so you can feel just a little bit heavier duty, you know. It's not straight. <laughs> Happy with your purchase, baby? I think so. I think so too. I really like it. Yeah, we have no room in this car getting packages. Shit, we have to put in the RV still. We move in tomorrow. We're trying to pack it in our car. Now we got a bad one. So we found carpet that was pre-cut, 12 by 11 for the room, which should be... Oh, you go, I'm sorry, brother. It's cheaper when you buy it by already cut, so this should be the one. <clears throat> I've got that discount, 60 bucks. That's the whole floor. I like that. Uh, so the carpet is next. Daunting task. some trim it around the whole thing. I just learned how to trim and like make these corners. Like I basically just learned about 
45 degree angles. <laughs> um, matches with the box is really good. I'm gonna repaint the whole thing so it's all sparkly and white. The trim around here, around here, that's it over here. So everything is basically closed in. is now livable we did not hook it up yet all the way but as far as living in here our lease is up tomorrow we can move in that was uh that was the whole plan and we did it it's one o'clock in the morning we're dead we still got to get up early in the morning start bringing our stuff here it's been an incredible journey now it's time to live in our tiny 